Is your Labradorite real? Is it fake? Is it altered? Well, today's video, I'm going to teach you all about Labradorite. All right, let's get into it. Welcome. If you are new here, I am Bella from Bella Luna Crystals, and this is That Crystal Show. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about Labradorite and how to spot some common alterations that we are starting to see on the market that are deceptively being sold as natural Labradorite, but are actually enhanced and altered. Here you'll see I have a lovely Labradorite specimen. This specimen comes from Madagascar. Now, Labradorite was first discovered in Labrador, Canada, but that's not where we get the bulk of our Labradorite from nowadays. Now, most of the Labradorite on the market today comes out of Finland or Madagascar, with the bulk of it coming out of Madagascar. The stuff from Labrador, Canada is more collector, more niche mineral. We're not seeing that the bulk. Bulk of the crystal market is the Madagascar stuff. But before we get too deep into identification, I want to tell you a little bit of some of folklore. Now, I am not a part of this culture. I'm merely retelling the folklore as I have read it. So I want to be clear with that. And if you are from this culture and I have inaccurately represented this, please let me know in the comments and I'll absolutely make updates. Now, rumor has it or folklore says that the Labradorite rock actually contained the Aurora Borealis. And you can definitely see it has that vibe, right? That Aurora Borealis vibe. And an Inuit warrior found the rock and sliced it open and freed the aurora borealis and that i think is definitely indicative of when you see this rock it's definitely giving that energy and actually you know in the mineral world we might call this the flash but it actually has its very own name which is labradorescence and it has to do with the way that the growth pattern is interacting with the light that is reflecting and how we turn it now in true labradorite you should see that you have to move the mineral around to get that play in the color or that play in the labradorescence. If I hold it in one angle, I'm going to see some. If I turn it a little more, I'm going to see this movement. So you see that color movement? Let me get up closer here. It's not just solid pink or purple, whatever way I turn it. I'm getting a little bit of color play in it, okay? With the minerals that are altered, what we are seeing, and I'll show some on Etsy because there are some legitimate sellers saying, hey, I have these, they're beautiful, they are altered, and they're being honest. And with any type of mineral alteration, I have no problem with people reselling them. They can be very aesthetically pleasing. As long as we, of course, disclose that they have been altered, I am totally cool with it. So I'm going to show you a seller that does sell the cabochons and absolutely discloses that they've been altered. So I absolutely love seller transparency. And I think these are a wonderful image. This is AK Gemstone Shop. High five for transparency. These are dyed purple labradorite. And what you'll see with these is no matter which angle you turn them, you're still going to get that really strong purple color. Remember, Labradorite is a feldspar, and feldspar does absorb dye really well. Now, you cannot affect the labradorescence. That is part of the growth pattern. But you can add dye to the mineral to make the mineral look solid purple, as you are seeing in these. But you're still seeing a little color play, perhaps where the dye interacted with the natural labradorescence. This year at Tucson 2022... A lot of these were popping up out there and some people had them disclosed as dyed and some did not. Purple was the most common color. We also saw this year a lot of larger freeforms, uh, primarily coming from China. And again, I don't like to pick out a country or anything. It doesn't mean that all Chinese sellers are bad. So please don't make that statement. That just happens to be where we saw a lot of the fakes coming from. And they were larger free forms that were solid purple, just like this. They didn't have a lot of the color play that we want to see in Labradorite. And it was pretty obvious they were dyed just like these specimens. The other, other colors that we have been seeing dyed are a green color as well and a blue color. So trying to play off some of the natural colors, which it is natural to see blue green in a labradorite the purple and the peachy color kind of the orangey colors those are all natural colors to see in labradorite even a little bit of green kind of like a sage color you can absolutely see that too in your labradorite now let's talk about spectrolite versus labradorite what is the difference this is so confusing for a lot of people and was one of the biggest questions i got on tiktok 
So initially, labradorite was defined, the initial specimens that were found in Labrador, Canada, as a blue-green flash, having that blue-green appearance. Now, this one probably would not fit that description because it's pink and purple, but these are newer out of Madagascar. I'll talk about that. And the spectrolite, which was from Finland, was considered a higher grade, and it tended to be more of our the purple, the pink, the peachy colors that we were seeing, and those specimens were more rare. They were called spectrolite. But now we have found, as this specimen is a great example of, we have found the pinky and the purple coming out of Madagascar. The newer veins are showing that same labradorescence, that same color patterning. So what happened is some sellers were calling the labradorite from Madagascar that had the pinky purple the spectrolite because initially that was the use of the name. But technically, I mean, it depends on who you ask, right? So this is a like a thing with trade names. Some people say, no, spectrolite is only the stuff from Finland. And some people say, no, it goes with the initial description. If it's the pinky, the purple, that is going to also be spectrolite. So for me, at the end of the day, it's all labradorite. And we're talking about a discrepancy in color. All right, friends. So let me know what you think about labradorite. What do you think about the dyed stuff? Have you seen it out there? Comment below. If you want to learn more about crystals, hit that like button. Give me a follow. Be sure to check me out on Instagram and on TikTok as well. And have a beautiful day.